So this is where I left off in the first video of the gothic dollhouse makeover. I'm starting to paint the siding when I realize, oh, there is a Dementor in the attic. My nephew was over the other day and he left it there and it ends up coming in handy later on in the video. After painting all the siding and when the paint is still a little bit damp, I take some paper towel and wet it and start rubbing off some of the paint to give it that antique weathered, the paint is being chipped off kind of look. Once I discovered gold paint, I became obsessed. I love gold paint and I end up doing a lot of the highlights with this. So this is my lovely fiance who took over for a little bit and did some of the painting in the front. Uh, we had a good laugh over the fact that it was Saturday night and we were painting a dollhouse together. wasn't sure what I wanted to do with the roof so for now I'm just doing this brown wash it's just to get some color onto the roof so it's just a watery brown at the moment I will be darkening it up later but for now I just wanted to fill in the cracks So here I'm adding just a little bit of black paint to add some shadow to make it a little bit dirtier, a little grungier, and just overall give it more of a spooky look.
I had a little bit of red paint on my finger, so I decided to just rub it off and it gave this pink shade, which I actually really liked. Again, it kind of looked like it was a little bit of faint blood on there, which I thought was pretty cool. So here I just took an old paintbrush, dipped it in some black paint, not too much paint, rub it off on some paper towel, and I'm just splotching it all over the place just to give it a dirty, grungy, moldy look. Here I just took some twigs from outside and I'm going to spray paint them black so there'll be some creepy Tim Burton-y looking trees. This is some cheap moss you can buy at any dollar store. So taking out my glue gun and just starting to put some glue into those stone pillars, sticking the trees in, hold it down for a few seconds to make it sturdy. I thought the green was a little bit too green, so I took some black spray paint and just sprayed a little bit to give it more of a mold look. And I wanted the moss to wrap around a little bit more in the front of the dollhouse, so I just took some of the moss, glued it on some black construction paper, and just stuck it in, just so it has more of a continuous look. And here's a reminder of what it looked like before.